episode. Um, I think I mentioned something about test kits. Did anyone hear anything about that? Yeah, so we have test kits. They're really cool. You can check out our website. They should have all their painting stuff in it if you want to do a painting at home and you can pick them up at the studio. Check out our website next week and those will be going on. Sorry if I cut out. Please let me know if I do. Um, but we are going to go ahead and get started. So all you really need for this is a piece of paper and um, some crayons or markers or anything you have on hand. I'm going to get closer here so you can see it. So I'm just working with some crayons. The Hi, biggest yeah. colors you need, obviously, are going to be yellow and black. Those are our main colors we're going to be working with. Everything else you can kind of choose on your own. I will probably use, because um, we also have a flower going, so I'm going to use a green, a nice color for our flower, and then like a gray or a white for our bee's wings. So if you just have those colors kind of on hand, that'd be good. So I'm going to start here with our yellow. So we are going to do a little bit of some sketching here. So I hope you guys can see this pretty well. Um, sketching to start out where we want our bee's body. So I'm going to find the center of my paint paper right here. So our bee is going to be, our main body is going to be kind of like a teardrop shape. So from our center here, I'm going to just kind of round out the top of my bee's body. And then I'm going to curve down, almost like you're making a circle. We're going to curve down into a point here. Is it possible to do it with something else? Because we can hardly see it. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, let me switch it with black. I'm so sorry. OK. All right, sorry about that. Is this better? Yeah, it's better, yeah. OK. <laughs> All right, so we kind of got this teardrop shape of our bee's body. OK, yeah, I hope everyone can see that better. Okay, let me get a little closer. All right, and then we're going to do our head. So our head is going to be just a circle on top of this teardrop shape. And we want to kind of overlap our body as well. So I'm just going to do a little circle here, just kind of overlapping our body here. So yeah, so you just want to have a circle going on top. Um. All right, and since we're drawing instead of painting, the way we really want to work this is we want to work from what is on top of our painting, and then we're going to move forward to our background. So if I did yellow and black all on his body, you wouldn't be able to see our flower or anything. So I'm going to move to go ahead and do our flower. So I'm going to pick up, I picked up about a brown to do kind of the center of my flower here. So kind of where you want to have the pollen. And I'm going to do just a little circle here on his body. That's where I want the middle of my flower to be. Just somewhere kind of off to the side. You can have it really wherever you want. Wherever you want the flower, if you want it to be bigger, smaller, anything you want to do. It doesn't have to be as tiny as this. Then I'm going to pick up a fun color. So this is where I want my flower petals to be. So I've got this kind of red violet, whatever color you like, whatever your favorite color is, your flower color, it's really up to you. So whatever you enjoy. And so the way I'm going to do these petals, they're kind of just going to be kind of like zigzag. So I'm just going to just take my crayon here and just going to just zigzag up and down, coming from the center out 
And you're just gonna kind of just create a bigger circle around the center of your flower here. So I'm just zigzagging back and forth, coming back to the center at every point. And you can always go over your lines one or two times to make it a little thicker if you want to cover up some of the white gaps. Yeah, and anytime if I'm going too fast or you can't hear me or something, just please just yell, say something. I can't really see everyone's face. So just feel free to unmute yourself and add something. <clears throat> All right, but once we got our flower, I'm gonna switch to my stem. So I picked up a green crayon again whatever you want. If you want to have a colorful stem, that is totally fine. You do not have to be realistic. This is your picture. So I picked up a green and all I'm going to do is from my petals here, I'm just going to just do kind of a curved line down towards my bottom left corner here. And I'm just going to thicken it up just slightly. Mm -hmm. So I've just got a stem of my flower here. I don't know what to do. What? All right, and then once you've got a stem, we're just going to add a little leaf. So somewhere along your stem. And so leaves are just going to be, you're going to just have, take one line, it's going to curve up and almost to a point there. So you got a curved line there, and then you're just going to meet it with another curved line going the other direction. And then you can just color that in. All right, now we're gonna go back to the body of our bee. And I'm gonna pick up my yellow here because we're gonna create our yellow stripes. Um, another big thing about drawing too, especially with colors, you always wanna work from your lightest color to your darkest color. Um, so I don't wanna use my black again until the last minute because sometimes when you're working with uh, crayons especially, you might blur that black into some color that you don't want. So I know I already got black from my outline, but I'm gonna start with some yellow. So, I'm going to start with some curved lines for the body of the bee here. So I'm going to just kind of start with my top line. So I'm going to make this curved line here on the body of my bee. 
I'm gonna go with some black a little bit underneath it so you guys can see where I did that. Yeah, I'll just switch to black so you guys can see. And then we're gonna just do a couple curved lines down his body. So you wanna have about five stripes on your bee's body. So you can just continue making some curved lines. But don't color them in yet because we want to make sure we color the right ones in. You want to make sure to avoid your flower. You don't want to have any lines running across it. All right, and then once you got your curved lines, we're gonna do black, yellow, black, yellow, black. So this one's gonna be black. So is our middle one and then our bottom one. And then those two in the center are gonna be yellow. So you can go ahead and just fill in your colors of your bee. So once I did my black, I'm gonna switch to my yellow to do those stripes. Hi, Caitlin. Can you can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, I think we're gonna have to be very and uh, like her music class. I think she's tired following you and she's getting upset. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to leave because I know that she can't. You know, she gets mad that she cannot do that the same. It's way, so. <laughs> okay. I, I know it's it's hard and it's yeah. also hard, especially in a thirty minute class. <laughs> Yeah, and then she but was you for doing another Zoom class, like music class, for forty-five minutes. So she's a bit what? tired too. So just My so maybe next time we join you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm glad she joined for a little bit. That's great. Yeah, thank you. She was excited at the beginning, but then I think now she's tired, so she's. <laughs> I said it happens. Thank you though. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much. Thanks. So maybe next bye. time. Thanks. Bye. 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 Thank you so much for joining. You're welcome.
Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right. Do we need some more time with our stripes? What? So, so she she says she wants to say, I see how it goes. If not, then we leave. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh God. Sorry She's that. insisting to do that. <laughs> no, that's totally fine. She can stay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So we've got our stripes on our B. So I guess we should all have our stripes going. So we're going to move to our head here. So I'm going to stick with my yellow. Um, I'll do some little outlines in black if you guys can't see this. I know it's kind of hard, but what I want to do first is I want to outline his eyes. So I'm going to start with my yellow and I'm going to just do these big ovals in the center here. Yeah, I guess you still can't see that. All right, I'm gonna do these in black. And ready? All right, so we're doing big ovals. If you want really big ovals that work. Okay, yeah, so I've got these big circles for his eyes in the center. You guys can make them bigger or they can just be kind of relatively the same size as mine or smaller, whatever you would like. But I just want to outline them so I know where I want to have my eyes later on. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to cover all around those eyes, but I'm not going to color inside of them. So I want to make sure to color all around in his face. Say bye. She can't. <laughs> she can't. Thank you for letting us. <laughs> of course, no problem, I guess. All right, once we've got our face colored in, we're gonna do his eyes. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to make a little circle for kind of the white of his eyes. Just, and then I'm going to fill in all around that black.
right. And then the last thing on space, we are just going to add a little smile here. Just ignore the black running through the bumblebee from my outlines. <laughs> And then sticking with our black here, we are going to do some of our legs and um, the feelers of our bumblebee. So what I'm going to do for the top of his head, we're going to do his two kind of, I guess, little antenna. So I am just going to take with my black, I'm just going to make a curved line up. Oops, I broke my head. Ah. Curved line going up here. And then we're going to curve it into a circle there at the end. You see that? And then you can go ahead and fill in that circle there at the end. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Wait, what are we doing? We're going to do his antennas on his head. Did you see that? Yeah, so it's just a curved line up and then you get a little circle there at the end. All right, and then I'm gonna do his arms. So we're gonna have two arms kind of holding our flower here. So I'm gonna do this in my yellow section so you can see his arms and legs. So I'm gonna kind of do the same thing. I'm gonna just do a little line that's going to curve up here at the end. So it looks like he's kind of holding his flower. So I did one there at the stem. Then I'm gonna do another one kind of here um, over top of my flower. So he's got two hands holding on. And then we're going to do two legs on either side of the bottom of our bumblebee too. So I'm going to pick one going off our left side here, starting from our black stripe. And so the same thing we did with his arms, just that kind of line with the circle at the end. Then I'm going to do one from his yellow stripe as well. And then I'm gonna do two from my other side as well. All right, then our last step here is our wings. So I'm gonna to switch to a gray so you can kind of see the outline of my wings. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do kind of like two teardrop kind of shapes on each side of my bumblebee. So I'm gonna start here from my yellow section and I am just going to just make yeah. same little teardrop shape that we kind of made for our bumblebee body. Let's see that. I'm going to do one from each side. Mm 
Hello? Yeah. Yeah, hi. Uh, so my daughter has just finished doing hers. We, we are going to sign out. She's getting a little impatient. But I wanted to say thank you very much for... Of course. No, no problem. Teaching. I know it doesn't quite look like yours, but... Uh, no problem. It looks great. Like a rainbow bundle. Awesome. All right. Thank you for thank you coming. Much. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right. And then above it, we're going to do two kind of ovals on top of each side of our wings. So you can either fill them in with the gray or you could do leave them white if you would like. It's really up to you, any fun color. Um, so that's it for our instruction, but feel free to add things to your background so you can make it all one color. You could add more flowers. It's really up to you. But our instruction for our bee is done. Does anyone have any comments or questions before we end? You guys all good? <laughs> all right. Does everybody want to share their picture? That would be fun. Oh, this is great. Caitlin, thank, thank you. Thank you, so much. Caitlin. It turned out really good. Thank you so much for oh, your time. Oh, I love them. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you guys for showing up. Oh, this is great, you guys. You guys, everybody get their B in the screen. We'll take a picture. Yeah, I'll even put mine with watercolors. It's kind of a disaster. <laughs> I got a picture. Love it. They look so good. Tino's palette, thank you so much. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Thank Patrice, thank you so much. Hey, thank you. Okay, take care. Talk to you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you.